going into Transcorp, I had a lot of expectations, like I said, because it is highly rated. It's the outdoor space of Transcorp is absolutely like magical. It looks like you are in a different part of Nigeria. So I booked the King Executive Room. Now, the price of this hotel is not fixed. It is dependent on the booking available. The more people are trying to lock down a space, it gets more expensive. So it comes with access to every single thing that comes as an is a complimentary to the hotel is allocated to you and your partner. Is that not amazing? Another major highlight is my view from my room. Absolutely gorgeous. I was on the ninth floor and guys, it was giving everything it was supposed to give. Like I, I could literally see the whole of Abuja from the, my room. Like a lot of their their food is quite pricey. Like, like pepper chicken that you literally buy for like three five to five k. They they sold it at eleven thousand five hundred, which is to me is really really outrageous. my loves and welcome to my channel if this is the first time you are seeing my face my name is Cheta and I create a lot of content in Abuja Nigeria you are definitely in the right place you are welcome on board thank you for joining us if you are a returning subscriber guys thank you so much for the support thank you for the love please if you're yet to subscribe click the subscribe button down below like this video because I promise you you would enjoy it do not forget to share it with your friends so that they get a review of what this place is about finally Follow me on socials and also turn on your post notifications so that you get directly notified whenever I post a new video. Okay guys, without rambling, let's get into today's video. Today, we'll be discussing and dissecting the Transcorp Hilton Hotel in Abuja, Nigeria. If you watched my last video where I posted, I'll link it up above. I went and spent a weekend in Transcorp Hilton. And I'm here to share my review about the space. So Transcorp Hilton Hotel is a five-star hotel in Abuja, Nigeria. And it is located in Aguyi Ironsi Street in Itama, Abuja, Nigeria. Again, with emphasis on Nigeria. Now, Transcorp Hilton is one of the top-rated five-star hotels in Abuja and, in fact, in the whole of Nigeria. In Abuja, there are other ones I've heard about, like the Wells Carton, Abuja Continental Hotel. Sheraton Hotel and Towers. In Lagos, there is Echo Hotel and Suites. But guys, today, I'll be sharing my review of what Transcorp Hotel feels like. If there was one thing I noticed is that foreigners, a lot of foreigners troop into Transcorp throughout my stay. I saw a lot of foreigners. And I think that is because it is highly rated online. And guys, these guys are always fully booked. Like most of the times when you're trying to secure a slot, it is sold out. I'll give you guys a tip on how I was able to secure my own slot. So going into Transcorp, I had a lot of expectations, like I said, because it is highly rated. A lot of people talk about our Transcorp, like there's a rave about Transcorp. And it is a very, very large space. It's more like a resort. Like there's nothing you will not find inside Transcorp. It is a resort. It has a lot of halls, rooms, um, activities, pool, bars, lounge, you name it. And yeah, like I said, I came with a lot of expectation, right? Now, as someone who lives in Abuja, I will not say this is my first time visiting the space. I have been there like a few times, like a number of times, like over for meetings in the piano lounge and whatnot. Um, but this was my first time really, really lodging and staying and experiencing the entire space. Like I said, Transcorp is really large. So I did not experience every single thing that there is to experience in this place. But I'll be sharing the things I experienced and what I think about them. Okay. So I'll start with the very obvious guys. The outdoor space of Transcorp is absolutely like magical. It is gorgeous it is beautiful and just to top it in like i said i always visit these people work with the season if it's time for christmas you can see a lot of decoration i'll add a link up for an activity that i attended towards during the christmas period the jack christmas village which was done in transcorp so you guys will see how beautiful the decor and every single thing looks so guys like i was saying this place is absolutely gorgeous from the driving in going in it looks like you are in a different part of nigeria so i give it to them the outdoor presentation i love 
I love. Very beautiful. Now, getting into the lobby, guys, like, this place is packed. Like, it feels like it is extremely busy. Not it feels like it is extremely busy. A lot of people are coming into lodge for meetings, going to different places. So it's really, really busy. Nevertheless, the lobby or the front desk is really, really cute and, and gorgeous. And like I said, I wanted to check in. So I had to go there for them to check me in. The check-in process was seamless. Once you do your payment online or however you do your payment, once you come in, all they need to do is to get your ID card, confirm that you are supposed to be here, and then they give you a room. The next thing that happens is that once you are located in a room, a concierge comes, packs your stuff from wherever it is. If it's your car, like my case, I came in my car, it goes to the car, pack it, and takes you up to your room, which is very, very organized and and absolutely gorgeous and beautiful to the experience like you feel like a queen you're just walking in and someone is carrying your load yeah i know it, it seems like it's a big deal but i know like it's, it's something that i've not really encountered in most hotels that i've visited so it's, it's really cool seeing that the room you pay for they give you a a an access card to your room now that access card you can only reach your room floor or the executive floor or the gym space and the major general areas but any on any other floor that is not your room floor you won't be able to access it except someone scans you in and whatnot so yeah um that that's very beautiful access right you cannot just barge into the hotel and start going up when you don't know where you're going to i booked the king executive room and um just to narrate how this happened so i went online i was seeing a lot of outrageous prices too much so i called their hotline the hilton hotline hilton.com or something like that i called them and told them oh i want to secure a room and like i said i didn't do this on my own i did it to someone who's already used to the process she always books rooms for my bosses so she contacted them and they told her the price at the time now the price of this hotel is not fixed it is dependent on the booking available it is dependent on i think the more people are trying to lock down a space, it gets more expensive. So I reached out the first time for this thing executive room. They were telling me 270 per night. I'm like, I don't understand. Because I want to shoot the video. I'll fit some per night. That's outrageous. So um I told the lady, Oh, let's chill. Let's check in sometime next week. Like mine is not like I'm traveling. I just want to go there, experience the place and and you know, like so we checked in after some time and it was still 260. And mind you, we had been checking during weekdays. So we checked in again and it was 260,000 naira. Ha. Hey hey. I'm like, I don't understand why. Let us ask them. So they told us that okay, you know what you'll do? Check in on weekends. Weekend rates are usually nicer. So I told her, okay, fine, let's wait till the weekend. We waited till the weekend, we checked in, and we saw the room for about 130 something. I put it on the screen. Just maybe almost 140, 130 something K. Immediately, I made my payment instantly. After making my payment, I sent them a receipt. They confirmed the payment, confirmed my date. And they had already confirmed the availability of that date before even. So they confirmed the availability, told me I made payment instantly just to secure the slot. And immediately, they notified me after they received my payment and told me that, um, yeah, my booking has been locked down. So that was how I got into the space. Now, this King Executive Room is absolutely gorgeous it comes with access to every single thing in the hotel except i mean like when i mean every single thing i mean like the hotel the executive lounge with breakfast snack and dinner with your plus one the pool the gym the steam the sauna every single thing that comes as an is a complimentary to the hotel is allocated to you and your partner is that not amazing absolutely amazing let me give you guys a tour of the room the room is like he says, it is five star. Very beautiful, very gorgeous, very large space to bed. A lot of cabinets and cupboard, a fridge, a sliding fridge, um, a lot of things. Lightning, you know what it is now. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. A room temperature regulator, you name it. Now the bathroom, absolutely gorgeous as well. Perfect lightning, bathroom space that is large and very, very, very amazingly accessible like it was everything i wanted now another major highlight is my my view from my room absolutely gorgeous i was on the ninth floor and guys it was giving everything it was supposed to give like i, I could literally see the whole of abuja from the, my room like i absolutely absolutely loved my view i could see the the pool area 
gorgeous and yeah i um, i would say i give it to them they did an absolutely great 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 job with that so before i proceed i want to mention something so there's something they call hilton honors membership it's a membership where you get points off of your stay in the hotel so after accumulating points for a period of time there are some perks and some benefits that comes with it so just know that um if you are on this which is for free once i got there they told me about that them, okay enroll me um so that i get points off of this day and they did that and immediately um after my stay they told me how many points i had and how many more i need to be able to access so many other benefits basically now the executive lounge like i said absolutely gorgeous space um it comes with you can access free food breakfast snack and dinner endless drinks all kinds of drinks wine um soft drink fruit juice whatever it is you name it you go there you access it now my first day there was a weekend a saturday night and guys i mean like it was absolutely crowded like i wasn't expecting that kind of crowd like a lot of people were there there wasn't space to sit but after that day it seemed like everywhere got back to normal and i started enjoying my stay there because i hate when places are so 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 crowded about the executive lounge the food i would say there is a preferential treatment to foreigners so a lot of their cuisines especially um their dinner is channeled towards foreigners so they have a lot of salads there is no african proper side dish like jollof rice no soups it's just salads and pepper soup with a lot of bread and a lot of fish fingers chicken fingers like um finger foods basically that i honestly was not really enjoying um i would prefer it if they had like a proper side like maybe fried rice jollof rice things like that it would have been really been fun but they had a variety of salads fruits and all of that and to me i feel like they were prioritizing the, the visitors nevertheless the breakfast they had a lot of nigerian options like moi moi pap akara you name it they had all of that so yeah i would say if they can balance it in a way um of just trying to because they had english breakfast as well they had a lot of breakfast that can accommodate foreigners so they should also have dinner options that can accommodate with the locals you get it um yeah so that's that about the executive lounge i forgot to mention for the executive lounge there's a dress code so you are expected to dress properly you're not expected to dress half naked with shorts crop tops and all of that because a lot of dignitaries like i said this is a big hotel so a lot of dignitaries come to visit so you have to put yourself together so that you don't look anyhow yeah but i won't really say they are very very stringent with that rule they allow for flexibility so you can't dress naked but it's not like you have to dress extremely long and wearing jalabias um i'll add the link of, i'll add the description of what jalabias are so you can dress just maybe knee length or a bit short just look decent uh, i think they also complain about sleeveless but i saw people with sleeveless so they're not so stringent on that hmm so now for room service my ordering experience absolutely beautiful you want to place an order immediately i call the front desk oh how do i place an order i can't see a menu and they were like turn on your tv screen and you'll see all the drinks and food menu we place our order and they told us in 45 minutes you get your order and in 45 minutes in fact before 45 minutes we got our order which is a seamless experience nevertheless guys my complaint is this um a lot of their their food is quite pricey like pricey like pepper chicken that you literally buy for like three five to five k they sold it at eleven thousand five hundred which is to me is really really outrageous so that's my complaint their pricing is extremely expensive so if you're going here you have to be ready because if you're not prepared <laughs> it's going to take you unawares but yeah every other thing seamless their room service they always showed up if i had any issue and i called instantly they were there if i called them to come pick up my bean they were there i called in maintenance at a point for something they came instantly so um they were prompt to respond so i'll say everything with regards to room service you continuing you reaching out they were always prompt to it and i give that to them so for the pool the pool is so so big like it is so so big and it's a beautiful space there are lounges around the pool i visited the pool on a sunday and guys it feel like it felt like the entire abuja <laughs> came to the pool i didn't know that a lot of people visited transcorp like this so to be honest but the pool was really really choked up um like i said it was complimentary as a guest on in the hotel for me and my partner so me and my sister we went there for free nevertheless um i asked and they said for adults you pay five thousand naira for the pool and then for children you pay three thousand naira um there is a very very large beautiful space for the pool there is a children's area and there's an adult area and the pool is really really deep at some point because i remember going to the very deep end and i just tried to see if my feet can touch the floor and guys i was literally squatting but my leg no they reached ground my leg was not touching the floor so it's really really uh deep and yeah i think 
I, I enjoyed it. Um, the water was not so harsh. Like you can see, okay, there's super extremely, um, a lot of chlorine. You, like there is a lot of chlorine in it. That was not the case. Um, but I won't lie. It was not as plain as that of Radisson Blue. If you have not watched that video, go and watch it. But I loved it and it was okay, honestly. I also forgot to mention, I mistakenly broke something in the pool area and they told me, oh, not to worry. It's covered in your bill. So, I did not have to pay an extra charge, which is something that usually happens. Sometimes if you go to a place and you break something, they'll tell you, no, you have to pay for this. So yeah, I broke something and they told me, nah, you're fine. Maybe they cleaned it up and they told me, just go ahead with your swimming experience. Now for the gym, the gym is absolutely, absolutely fully packed. So you walk into the gym, the first thing you will see is a cardio room. You will see all forms of cardio machine, treadmill, stair master, um stair master machines a lot of treadmills and their treadmills support you watching a program while doing your program on the treadmill like you can watch a tv series you can watch whatever it is while doing your program on the on the treadmill you walk in and you get into the place where there are a lot of machines and weights to lift and all of that strength training so you go there you do your thing i absolutely 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 loved it you go to the locker room See, everything about these people is just detailed. I love their detailing. You go to the locker room, you get your locker space, you walk in, you can see a steam, you can see a sauna, you can see some bathrooms, you can see changing rooms, you can see a lot of things. And to me, that that's, that's so great. Like, absolutely gorgeous environment. They made it very comfortable and convenient. I use the sauna rather. Love the experience. I use the sauna love the experience i couldn't use the steam because they said at the time they were having some issues and they're trying to resolve it the bathroom spotless the changing room spotless mirrors everywhere fully properly illuminated i give it to them their gym is top notch okay so there are a few things i will touch on so first of all for neatness it's a five-star hotel and they came through everywhere was neat and spotless loved 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 that the structure of the hotel the structure was given all that it should give. It's transcorp now. I mean, like you can see, like it was so, so properly arranged. Unlike a, um, the Western hotel I complained about, the structure was not structuring. But this one, the structure was properly arranged, organized. Like I loved the experience of it. The staff, I won't really say I noticed anything different. Like maybe they were extremely nice or extremely rude. They were just there. Honestly, they were cheerful, of course. But, um, yeah, they were just being staff. Um, but I won't say they were doing extremely much. Like I told you when I went to Nairobi, I was like, why are you guys doing so much? Of course, they were not doing so much. It's just who they are. But yeah, um, I think the staff, they're okay. They're, they're nice. I enjoyed my experience with them. My cons from this, that's the things that I do not like. I've already mentioned them earlier. One, um, I do not like the fact that their room service meals are extremely pricey. If you guys can make it, at least someone has already paid a lot to be there. I mean, so just try to be nice with your, with your prices, basically. I think that'll be one of my cons in that space. Um, the other thing that I complained about is, is the executive lounge dinner. Um, they are putting more emphasis on the foreigners. Please just add a local dish of some sort to the menu for dinner so that people that don't like all this salad and nibbling for dinner can actually have proper dinner like jollof rice fried rice and things like that that's basically my complaint with regards to that um recommendation of course if you have the money to go to transport why not it's an absolutely beautiful experience for me and uh, it was really relaxing i went there like i said to rest i was having a, a bit of stress over a lot of things and i went there to rest and yeah i did rest so yeah, if you have the money, please go. I highly recommend. If you're coming to Abuja, of course, it's Transcorp. Visit if you can. Yeah, guys, I think that that's basically what it is. That brings us to the end of this video. If you loved, loved, loved um, the video, please do not forget to like. It helps me out. It helps my video reach a lot of people, foreigners that intend to come to Nigeria and they want to know what to expect. Please, please, please like this video. Share it with your friends too so that they can get updated. Subscribe to my channel if you have not. Please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe down below. Turn on your notification bell so that you get notified. Follow me on my socials as well. Please.